In this video, I will be unboxing a Tesla Model Y roof rack and showing you how to install it step by step. So without further ado, let's get started. So you own a Tesla Model Y and you are looking for the best way to transport your kayak, bicycles, or other outdoor gear. Well, look no further. The Tesla roof rack is currently available for sale on the Tesla shop for $450 and is custom designed to perfectly fit your Model Y. Check out the description below to a direct link to the Tesla shop. For those of you who are considering paying someone else to install the roof rack for you, I would highly encourage you watch this video till the end and reevaluate. The installation process is overall really simple and can be done in 15 minutes or so. So save a few dollars and put it towards a few extra miles of charging. All right, so let's start by seeing what comes in the box when you buy the product. As expected, you will find an owner's manual with basic installation steps, but hopefully this video will serve as a better guide. In addition to the main front and rear crossbars, you will also find mounting clips, flexible pads, anti-abrasion tape, wing nuts, and aesthetic covers. You will also find a set of keys to securely lock the rack to your vehicle to prevent theft. In addition, the roof rack comes with all the tools required for installation, which simply involves a plastic clip tool, a tape measure, and a hex wrench. The first step is to wipe down your car in preparation for the install. I would definitely recommend using a microfiber car towel for this step so that you don't scratch or damage the paint. In step two, use the icons on the rubber foot pads and anti-abrasion tape to identify the correct install locations on your car. The foot pads and tape have car icons with an arrow pointing towards the front of the car and the tire on the diagram is filled to show you which corner of the car they mount. For the next steps, I recommend marking the included tape measure with a Sharpie at 227 millimeters and 412 millimeters. The front crossbar is mounted 227 millimeters from the front edge of the glass top roof. So align the tape measure with the front of the glass and the 227 millimeter mark that you just added should land in the perfect spot. Tesla is really clever here and has marked the location with an arrow that is only visible if you shine a strong light up to it. And this is highly recommended to make sure you are in the right spot. You can use the 412 millimeter mark on the tape measure to locate the rear crossbar mounting location by measuring from the back end of the glass roof. Now that you have located the mounting positions, in step five, peel the backer off of the appropriate anti-abrasion tape pieces and apply it to the car, making sure to align the arrow on the tape with the arrow on the car. Make sure the tape is laying flat and try to remove any bubbles and then repeat this for all four corners of the car. In steps six, seven, and eight, use the plastic clip tool provided by Tesla to carefully pull back the rubber gasket and insert a metal clip at the arrow location by pushing the flat end into position and then rolling the clip 90 degrees towards you while removing the plastic clip tool. In case you were wondering, in my opinion, this is the most difficult step of the installation. So if you are still with me, then you're in good shape. In step nine, you simply slide the pads onto the metal clips in their respective locations at all four corners. It is helpful to have a second set of hands for step 10 as you place the front and rear crossbars into place over the metal clips. Next, install the wing nuts and hand tighten them on each of the towers. In step 12, use the provided hex wrench to further tighten the wing nuts. Tesla recommends tightening these to two and a half to three and a half Newton meters of torque, but if you are like me and don't have a torque wrench, then you can just tighten this to hand tight plus a half a turn or so. It's important to note here that you definitely do not want to over tighten during this step because it may result in vehicle damage, so you don't want to use your Hulk arms for this step. Next, use the provided key to lock each of the crossbars in place. You can test to make sure that they are secure by pulling on them in all directions to ensure they don't move around. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the step, so instead you get to watch me peeling off this sticker. And now you have made it to the final step, which is simply to install the plastic covers on each of the four corners by pressing them into place. 
And just like that, your Tesla Model Y roof rack is installed and ready for action. I really hope this video was helpful to you, and if you found any value in it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel to be notified when we release future content. Also, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those in the comment section below, and I am curious to know what you plan on using your Tesla roof rack for. If you are a kayak owner, then I recommend you check out my Yakima kayak saddle unboxing and installation video, and I will also link that below. Make sure to check out the description below for all of the information covered in this video and links to some of my favorite home EV chargers. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.